Welcome into Caldwell County Today. I'm Eric Stafford and standing here with me is Roberta Kogut and we are talking about her exhibit here at the Caldwell Arts Council. And uh, you have an unusual photorealistic style. I mean, it's, it's really, it, but you, you work in pastel, mm -hmm. is that right? Mm -hmm. Now, how did you get interested in pastel? How did that even start? You know, pastel has always been one of my favorite mediums um, in art school and even before that. I did some acrylic, some different things, but um, there was something about pastel. I love the vibrant colors. It's really one of the purest uh, pigment mediums of all the mediums it has less binder less filler and yeah. it's mostly medium and so um i just like even looking just at the pastels in my box because they're just so beautiful <laughs> um and it's a it's a dry medium which when we first moved to caldwell county i had a little my husband called it the hut a little studio that we had <laughs> built outside and i didn't have running water and um, and so it was just really convenient to have a dry medium. I didn't have to worry about cleaning up after, you know. You can, and the nice thing, you can come in, you can work on it, you can put it down, you can leave. You don't have to wait for it to dry. You know, you, you yeah. know it's just it's a very convenient. It's a, maybe a little more fragile than some of them because it, it's still kind of in a powder form when yeah. you're finished. But you just, you know, for the most part, it's hanging on the wall. And you don't have to worry about it. If you're transporting it, you just want to be careful how yeah. you transport it. But I just love it. Because you could still affect it if you touched it or something. Right. It still yeah, like I was bother. working on one one day and my daughter was really little. And um, it was a dog from my neighbor. And she walked up to it and just went, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so that was when I learned, okay, we need to keep these things out of the reach of the yeah, hands. Yeah, it'll be a little higher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little higher up. But uh, uh, so, so when would you say you started in pastel? That's been... I would say I was probably in college, so like 40 years ago or something. Oh wow, like that. Not that I wouldn't think that long, oh, you know, so. Uh, but uh, I was just curious about that myself. Mm -hmm. And it is, because it is, like you say, uh, uh, such a heavy, the direct pigment. Mm -hmm. It just, I, I never even thought of that, that that's why it's so vibrant. Mm -hmm. But the colors are incredibly vibrant. Yeah, yeah. And, and your particular style, I'm, I'm, I've seen, I saw some stuff before I got here, and then I'm also like just shocked at how photorealistic it mm -hmm. is. And I mean, how long does it take you to do something like that to make it look? Yeah, so that's been kind of part of my journey. Um, I, I just am kind of perfectionistic. I like to do what I see. And yeah. so it takes me a long time. And then with, you know, life, you know, <laughs> you can't always just sit there for hours at a time. So I would come back to the same painting day after day. And, and sometimes I almost get kind of tired of looking at it because, you know, I just had to get it finished. Um, and I like the outcome, but it takes so long. So actually COVID, during the COVID downtime, I really started doing a lot of thinking and contemplating and working toward uh, trying to have a little more of a spontaneous style and oh, be really? able to do something. So some of my uh, landscapes, um, the ones in the hall over there, for instance, um, I was able to do in a day. I just try to force myself to not be quite as detailed. Of course, the subject matter, you know, if I tried to do a painting of a dog, it's kind of like a portrait and it has to look like the dog for me to make it, yeah. you know, worthwhile. Um, and all the little whiskers that just make him so lovable. Um, some, some things, it's just the subject matter that lend themselves to have to be more detailed. Yeah. But things like a landscape, uh, I want it to feel more like a moment in time. And you don't necessarily need all the details to just have that sense that you're in that place, looking at that peaceful uh, location that brings you back to where you were when you first saw it. So it just depends on, on what I'm painting now as to, as to whether I need to be really detailed or whether I can be a little more relaxed with it. 
And that's that's quite a challenge in a, in a big process because you're so used to that control yeah. and it being yeah. so, so that way and then to have just that impressionistic moment of a, of yeah. a landscape that day and seeing yeah. the light and painting <laughs> the light. Uh, so that's uh, really interesting that you, you take both of those because I, I know people tend to go one or the other. So to be able to do that is, is yeah. quite a talent. And, and I hear from other, other artists that that's a struggle for them too, to be able to paint freer. Yeah. And even though I have to say probably my, you know, my more impressionistic landscapes probably still have a lot more detail in them, you know. <laughs> I mean, I just kind of go that way sometimes because it's just kind of who I am. But I'm trying to push my But wow, but there. To, to consciously do that is, I think that's oh, a, big, a big jump. Uh, now, when, do you have a regular set time of day did you go to the studio, do something? Yeah, um, I, not really. We just have such a crazy lifestyle with different <laughs> things that we're doing. So, um, and right now we're camping, so it's Man. not really conducive. It's, it's hard with pastel. Um, you have to have pretty good weather <laughs> to be able to oh, wow. paint in, in pastel outside. Um, and it, with the powder, I don't like to paint inside in the camper because then you have Everywhere, yeah. yeah, a lot of color, so. Col colorful camper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have done some, but um, I, I really like working in my studio because I just can control that part of it. Yeah, um, yeah. So, so right now we're kind of on hold, um, but I can't wait to get back home and get into the uh, studio again. Yeah. So it just depends, and it depends if I'm working on something. I'm kind of the kind of person that once I get into something, I don't like to stop. Yeah. And so, although stopping is also a good part of the process, stopping and leaving and coming back gives you fresh eyes. And, yeah. You know, so. And sometimes you might not be happy with the work and you come back to it months or years later yes. and then want to finish it. That, exactly. Oh yeah. My, the daughter, the uh, painting of my daughter, um, as summer fades, that one, uh, drove me crazy for a while um, <laughs> and and but going away and coming back uh, some of the things didn't bother me anymore I realized oh that's that just fits yeah but when you're focused on little minute things you lose the big picture sometimes literally <laughs> <laughs> now uh, you have a lot of pieces here uh, what's the oldest piece that is here well the oldest piece is is really it's just one that I like. It's uh, my college roommate. It's called Anna, and it's um, just a charcoal portrait of yeah. her. But I just like the way that it turned out, and so yeah. I've had it in my. I, I've had other opportunities to exhibit my work, and I've always kind of priced things really high so that people wouldn't buy them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's a challenge. <laughs> so, you know, it was like, I, if somebody's going to buy it and I'm going to lose this piece, I, it has to be worth it. Well, that's true. So, but I've kind of tried to make it a little more available this time because I also don't want to end up one day with just a bunch of artwork um, that I can't put anywhere in my house. So um, I know that sounds kind of crazy. I'm really kind of more of a hobbyist in that sense. I've never really done it in this, uh, um, with the view of making it a career. Yeah. So this has been just like a real honor to be able to have my work on exhibit in one place like this, so. Well, we're, we're happy that you're here. We're happy <laughs> that you're, you, you came and, and, and would participate because uh, like you said, you were talking about COVID earlier mm -hmm. and we had to cancel a mm -hmm. lot of the shows that were yeah. up here so yeah. last year so nobody could come see them. So, yeah. um, but did you work on stuff more during COVID? Did you take well, any time and I do thought anything? I would. Well, everybody thinks they Yeah, know. and um, <laughs> I actually, because I was supposed to be a part of the, um, the exhibit that's downstairs with Mary and Margaret. Yeah. And um, in June, starting last June, and so when that got canceled, I had actually three pieces I was working toward finishing for that, and, um, and I just stalled out, and, I, I, and it was this whole thing about being very... Um, detail oriented yeah. that I, I just was grappling with because you know somebody said to me 
it sounds like it's not fun. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you know, sometimes it's not fun because it just takes so long to get that final result. And so that's what was really pushing me that uh, to work faster and freer so that it could be fun yeah. and to be able to do one work in a day and enjoy it and have that accomplishment. So that, yeah, so I went for a period of time through COVID plus I had my hip replaced and my husband had open heart surgery. I'm probably not supposed to say that, <laughs> but that we had a lot of recovery time yeah. as well. And so that was kind of downtime. But um, as things started coming alive again and this show got back on schedule again, um, I was ready to kind of go into that new way of doing things. And yeah. so it was, I was just really gratified that it worked. <laughs> I was able to, you know, to pr produce some things that I could really enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. Without spending three or four or five months. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can all enjoy them, even the ones that you feel like are quicker, but yeah. we still enjoy yeah. them all. They're all yeah. beautiful. Thank you. And uh, uh, do you? regularly do commissions like you talked about doing some commissions I with have, some pets and some other things i have done only some i've done a couple of portraits and uh pets um in the past yeah yeah okay well, just it's kind of hard with that. commissions because i i really would rather work from you know when it comes to animals you really need photographs and Sometimes people come with this <laughs> grainy old photograph of their dog and say, can you paint this? It's like, yeah, you know, <laughs> no. Um, so I like to... Just blur, I like blur to get, it up. Blur. Yeah, yeah. I like to have something that is more characteristic of their personality. Yeah. Get in there and take my own photos and something wow. that I can work from better. Wow. Yeah. And, but your artwork is incredible. It, Thank you've you. got to come see it. It's here. Uh, right now at the Caldwell Arts Council and it will be here for the dates you see on the bottom of your screen so just come on out and see some of uh, Roberta's great work fabulous stuff thank you is there anything I might have missed anything you want to talk about uh, no <laughs> <laughs> I always ask that just in case in case I did but it's such beautiful stuff now uh, so I, I did ask you, uh, I'm going to kind of go back, I did ask you what the, the oldest piece was, what's the newest piece? The newest piece, um, the three in the hallway, I actually did in, within one week, all three of those. That was, those are the three newest pieces. Oh, okay. So the, the small landscapes. There, um, one is of um, an area right across from Moses Cone on the parkway. Yeah. That I just love the rolling hills and the way you can just see this little picture every time i go by it i, I want to get a picture of that so um that's one one is um that i see every day on our walk in happy valley and the walking park and the other was modoc uh south carolina where we took our summer vacation this year um, yeah. on the lake there so those are the three newest ones it must be a fun time at your house because you got the cool music <laughs> You got the art going. <laughs> we don't see each other sometimes too often. <laughs> he's making violins down there. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. He's working on his art, so it's, yeah, it's that's, that's right. So creative, and, yeah. and we're just glad you're here. Well, so thanks. Thank you so much, and thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Yeah. Bye.